Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, uh, and welcome back to Vampire. Time and time again, this game has showed us that people are not what they seem. With the latest example being Tom, the barman, and a uh, well-respected figure at the Turquoise Turtle. We came across him before the very start of the game, and we just thought he was a friendly barman. A bit rough and ready, but everyone respected him, he was a cool dude. But it turns out, after uh, finding some gin for him, that he once attempted a murder of someone he was a youth and part of the Wet Boot Boys and went to prison and reformed his life after that. I think it's really cool how this stuff can all go totally unmissed if you're skipping the side quests. But, regardless, we have something else to do now. Um, we do need to stop some people digging up graves. We're going to do that for Clay Cox's wife, Edwina Cox, that's it. Now, where do we have to go for that? Oh, fuck me, it's ages away. It's all the way down in Southwark, on the south side of the river. Okay, well, this should be a tricky one. How do we get there, I wonder? Got over that bridge. Oh, who's that there? Unknown. Right, let's have a look at this East End Golem. How you doing there, dude? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Seymour. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions. Or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. Fucking hell, Fishburne. Why are you so cynical? Um, nothing there, so we can only learn about your life in London. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. <laughs> Beautiful. Liars and thieves, all of them. Are you thinking about someone in particular? Nope. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. Fucking hell, the language on this dude. I know I did just say fucking hell before that sentence, but still, he swears like there's no tomorrow. Is there no one who deserves your leniency, then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. See, everyone loves Tom. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. Was that a, a poke at me? Are you saying I speak too much over the dialogue there, Seymour? I don't appreciate that. Well, that's someone we don't like. Yeah, what do you do round here? Do you just whinge and moan? What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life, even though I don't treat her so good. Man, he's literally like Seymour Skinner from Simpsons. <laughs> Is your mum a bit of a nag? You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Now, now, Seymour. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just want her to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated life. God knows she deserves it. Well, look, Seymour, I don't like you. I don't even like your mum, and I haven't even met her. But I'm going to find that necklace. I'm going to find that necklace just to maybe get you to stop moaning a bit. Um, but first, of course, we're going to do the grave digging one first. I'll say first a few more times, if you like. First, let's get over this bridge. Yeah, I swear there's stairs up there. I remember. Thank God, it's been such a long time since we've been here, but I do remember... It's probably going to be scowl galore. But it's okay. What? Oh my god. Did you hear the gun cock then? It's because we picked up the bullets. I thought someone had literally raised their gun at us. I was terrified. Any rats? There we go. Couple of rats. Up to no good. I can't believe I'm doing this. Started spreading disease in our neighbourhood. Right. I have this. A lead plate. I reckon we could upgrade a weapon soon, you know. All the music's sort of changed going over this bridge. It's kind of cool. That body. Oh, we can loot it. Shillings, thank you. Yeah, we don't seem to have much need for money, I've got to be honest. It is a Prywin vampire hunter. I thought his armour, or his, what he was wearing, looked a little bit silly there, or different. Oh man, I don't like that bullet sound. It's throwing me off so much. It's funny, we've been hearing it all game. I know what it is now, but it seems more louder in my ear. Wow, we've just made some huge ground. We're in the south now. Arguably the best part of London. <laughs> Guess where I'm from. Um, if we just go out here and have a look. Oh fuck. So to move along there and then. Oh, I hope we have. To, I hope we can jump over the river at some point and not have to go all the way round. We don't know what level these dudes are, so we need to be careful. 
Oh, only 16. We can get up there, right? We should be able to get up there, right? I think. Fuck, I think we're going to have to fight him. Fine, it's all good. We can do this. Oh, I did get the other dude as well. Oh, get away. I'm going straight for you, buddy. Come on, put your arm down. It's fine. We've actually took these guys out amazingly. I've run out of bullets. I'm not used to using my gun. <laughs> we can do this all day, though. Sweet. Now I'm hoping, now that we've killed the enemies, we can uh, like blink up to that place. Not the boat. I'm going to loot you. Yes, there we go. That wasn't appearing before. Now I think it might be because we was in like the shadow form. But it's nothing to worry about now. It's only 100 metres away. I don't really want to go through the houses. Oh, God. Right back where we started. Don't have to fight everyone, as I keep saying. Oh, fuck. Can we get down the stairs? Perfect. Get out of it now. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, nice. The water's all shallow here, so we can just walk across. But it absolutely stinks. Oh, the grave is just up there. This place. Oh, it's where we died. Rain may have washed away the blood, but not the memory. My poor Mary. My poor, poor Mary. Oh, do you remember Mary? She wasn't in her coffin. Did you see anyone here? I don't. Oh, that's a huge shovel. It's actually enormous. The shovel's really come in that size. Can we use it as a weapon? Hello, boys. About your last message concerning your mission to loot corpses in Southwark, I'll only say it once. Deal with it. And be glad I don't report your protest to Edwina. She might go there herself to cut your balls off. A little bird also told me you made a few jokes about what I saw by the pier. So now I'm just a loony scared by his own shadow, or a nutcase who mumbles and trembles like an old woman about ghost stories. Good. I like it when my boys are happy. Be assured that nutcase will come to piss on your bloody carcasses after the fucking monster I saw has sucked your brains out. Enjoy the following nights, fellows. I heard they will be foggy and rainy. Oh, it's Boof. Boof Tiggly. Boof. <laughs> you know. Okay, so the, he doesn't get a lot of respect, does it sound like? We can speak to Booth Digby about this that. This is my watch. <gasps> Damn grave robbers. We got our watch back. Oh, so that was the grave robbers. Report the death of the grave diggers or hide the truth. Oh, I don't know. I don't know at all. I feel like we should always try and pull one over, Edwina. Because I don't like her and I don't like... Uh, what's his name? Boothy. Diggles. Okay, now do we fight our way back? I mean, we'll get XP for it. I shouldn't really be avoiding fights too much. Be smart about it. Hmm, okay. Fucking hell, that wasn't smart at all. Come here. That's it. Finish him off. No, no, no. Oh, my health. That's fine. Let's get some blood out of him. No! I think we're dead. Fucking hell, did not like that. Not like any of this. Surely after all we've done, we can't get beaten by someone like him. No! Just need to kill him now. Oh no, 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 no! Come on! Die, die, die! Jesus, I don't know why we had such a, a hard time with this dude. Maybe he really went for it. <laughs> Maybe he was really close to this guy who we killed. You never know. Could be brothers or best friends. Could have made it through the war together, only to see his best friend get killed on the streets of Southwark. Um, did, did you see that? <laughs> you didn't see nothing, right? La 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 la, we're just a doctor walking the streets. Up to nothing shady at all. Okay, fuck off. That's it, kill him first, he's easy. Try and get a load of blood off this dude. Should really try and suck him. Do I go back to the stake? I don't know. Oh, it's done. 
Now hopefully the guys didn't respawn down the side here. I don't think they would have. There should be a clean ride back to uh, the docks. We're almost back to Edwina, but on our return I noticed that Seymour has a cold. We can fix that for him. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. We definitely need to heal up people as we go. I think that is the trick here. Do you so, require like medical this? assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help. On several matters. In oh, fact. please, one thing at a time. Take this. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with. But it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. Not at all, dude. We're going to get your necklace. Is that Goodbye, enough? Mr. Fishburne. Right, okay. Well, that's um, two people being healed in the docks area now. Uh, where does Edwina hang out? Is it just down here? There's the turtle. I think she's just to the right. There she is. I still haven't decided what we're going to do. Whatever the worst one is for her. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Right, I reached a Southwark mass grave. Oh, we got any more hints about her, though? Yes, there we go. Your feelings for Booth Digby. Do you love him? Booth Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word. <laughs> what is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Yeah, of course she can. It's just that uh, other people handle it differently. Can make someone feel a little bit awkward. I think you manipulated him. I sense a soft heart and not that easily shocked. Um, are you manipulating Booth? I think so. I think you are a very, very conniving lady. I believe you manipulated Booth Digby to get everything you wanted from him. Both inside and outside the bedroom. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. Oh, God. we better tell him that. Hope he never gets tempted to, to stray away. Okay, so you are in in love, I guess. <laughs> as high-tempered as you are. So, yeah, he, Booth believes in monsters. Do you believe in them? Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in monsters, Edwina. It makes him look weak in front of the boys. That's my feeling about it. Ghosts don't scare me. You what about vampires? He really saw something. Then? I don't care what he saw or not. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. Okay, if you say so. And is there anything else here for her? No. Okay, so we've we've done all the um, conversation possibilities with Edwina. That's cool. What what do we tell her about the south about the mass grave? I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was. Not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. The grave diggers are dead, so they were nowhere to be found. If we say they're nowhere to be found, directly to go after their families. Seems like something she wouldn't be beyond doing. Um, if they're dead, is she going to want... We don't even know what killed them. Fuck, I think we'll tell her that they're dead, but I don't know if that's going to be beneficial to us or not. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead. Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Ah, uh, you're uh, welcome, I guess. Oh, now we can trade with her. Okay, well, I guess that's a good thing, because now other people, whether they be wet boot boys or not, they won't be going around the mass grave and won't die. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Thank you. We could buy parts for weapons upgrades, I guess. I don't know if we need any of that. See you later, Edwina. Is that Diggles? Yeah, okay. Let's speak to him about the uh, the letter we found then. You again. What do you want? I want you, Booth. Do you know Edwina suspects you to be unfaithful? Edwina's the one who asked to be called Mrs. Cox. Even though Clay hadn't touched her for such a long time. You have not answered my question. She's a passionate woman. I've no doubt she'll shoot me down if I ever betray her, but that's not going to happen. I love her as she is. They really are sweet. It's just a shame they're both cutthroat gangsters. 
And it's kind of amazing that Clay was the first person we killed. He could definitely be around here right now. We could have spared him. Then Booth could maybe just be pining for Edwina. So maybe we've done a good thing by killing Clay? I know you believe monsters are real, Booth. They are. I know, I saw one. But no one believes me. I believe you, dude. Tell me what you saw. It was a few years ago. Clay Cox was still the boss then. He'd sent me to the shipyard to find out who was stealing tools and ropes at night. Go on. First, I thought it was an old lady with a limp. It looked frail and crooked. Then I saw it grab a bloody beam and lift it like it was a stick. I shouted. It looked straight at me. Do you know what it was? It was all eyes and long teeth, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't see its face. I shot at it when it moved towards me and I hit it. And then it jumped and vanished in the shadows. You could have imagined all that. These docks can be so gloomy at night. With the fog and the wind and the boats creaking. No, Doctor. That night I saw the fucking sewer dog for real. It's not a beast like the stories say. It's the ghost of an old woman. Bullets can't stop it. But no one believes me. <laughs> You're scared of an old lady. <laughs> Just a really strong old lady. Oh, Booth. Are your friends mocking you? Even if Wiener told me once to never speak about it, but I know what I saw. And it wasn't a human. Not human at all. Okay, dude. Fine. Yeah, you saw a really strong old lady. <laughs> See you later, Booth. You're a funny dude. Goodbye, Mr. Dick. The sewer beast. An elderly woman. That's crazy. Oh, fine. So now we need to go get this dude's mother's necklace. You're recovering, you're recovering. That's good. Um, it's for you. Oh, is that your mother there? Let's track it. Please don't take me all the way to back where we just came from. Oh, is it here? Retrieve the necklace lost by Fishburn. Where the fuck would I find it here, then? It's just in this general area. You've got to be kidding me. Retrieve the necklace lost by Seymour Fishburn. Um, the only thing I can assume is that it's near him somewhere. Like in a bin or something? We can't go in there, can we? No. Oh, well, I'm not too hopeful in finding this. It's like a needle in a haystack. Or like a necklace in a dockyard. It's going to be impossible to find. I think it's just going to be one of the things that we'll come across. So, sorry, Seymour. And there was someone down here. Let's talk to you. Oh, you like a be- Oh, you're a you're a tramp, I think, aren't you? What's the what's the actual term you like? A beggar? I don't know. Rufus. Okay, and I think Seymour hates you. I reckon you might know where the necklace is. I reckon you've stolen it. Wait, that's such an accusation to make, it's terrible. Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have, have a nothing look to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. <laughs> oh, the way the subtitles had that, I thought his name was Sir Rufus Kingsbury. And that's a fucking brilliant name. Okay, next RPG I play, and you get to choose the name. We're going for Rufus Kingsbury. Right. Are you alone? Oh, oh shit, we could eat him if we wanted to. Who would miss Rufus? Doesn't seem like he's got much going for him. Oh, we are quite hungry. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. Oh, perfect. So you have no home. You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. No parents. They're both dead. No home. He's homeless. This is brilliant. We could eat him. You should be careful. We are all alone. You should be careful, Rufus. Who knows what could happen? You should be careful, Rufus. There are things that lurk in the shadows of this city. Things that prey on the lonely and the desperate. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost. Even if we're not related. Right, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Fishburne. That's um, Seymour's mother. Okay. So you do have a connection to him, so it is plausible that you may have stolen the necklace, but then again, you just said you've got a lot of respect for her. Are you ill as well? Yeah, so we could cure him. Oh, I'm not going to eat you, Rufus, I was only pissing about. Not yet, anyway. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. 
but since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. <laughs> oh, damn. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Whatever for? What, what have you done? Wait, should we be talking to you? Get away. We've, well, to be honest, we're already cursed. You couldn't bring our luck down much more. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. England is your city, dear Rufus. Okay, so what do you do? You sit on your ass all day? You can't go to the job centre? What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Okay, okay. I'd love to give him some money. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. Oh shit, I do feel a bit sorry for him. I can't believe he was thinking about even eating him. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Okay. Well, thank you, Rufus, for your time. I know you've got bags in it to spare, but we'll leave you alone now. I'm pretty sure, as I mentioned before, I'm only really going to uh, suck the generally evil people. I think Cadogan, whatever his name was, he was an easy choice. The next person I'm planning on eating is that priest who burns people. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Rufus is okay. Oh, fuck. We need to heal him. Sorry, Rufus. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. So, yeah, he's all right. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. <laughs> you are. Now take the medicine. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Don't sweat it, dude. So long, Rufus. Literally, don't sweat it Be out. Careful. I don't think the medicine will work then. I need to find Mrs. Fishburn. So, you've got to be close to her house, I would have thought. There she is, Stella Fishburn. Let's see what she's all about. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. Stella, don't be a motherfucker now. Let us in. Oh, we can use our vampire powers. Let me in, Stella. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburn. Stella Fishburn. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Excellent. That worked out nicely. Oh, I love being slivery and sly, worming our way into people's homes. It feels awesome. Um, now let's ransack her drawers. Oh, it's, it's locked. locked all right. Very smart of you, Stella. Well, there was something must be unlocked in here. The spring. I wonder if we'll find the necklace anywhere. Lead plate. Okay. Oh, don't speak to us, Stella. We're done with you now. I can hear her mumbling over the stove. Right, no necklace, I don't think. But let's have a word of her about it, if we can. What are you making? Fish? Do you always make fish because of your surname? Don't burn it. So you have questions about the flu, then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. That's all right, we don't like your son. Um, tell me about Rufus. The orphan that regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. You've been hungry quite a lot, is that what you're saying there? How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know. But it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. And where do you stand, then? What part? Of the, what gang are you part of? You look like a wet boot boy if I've ever seen one. 
Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you could just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. I would notice you. It would loot, it would, uh, loot your corpse for some shillings. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Cool. Times are really tough. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. Yeesh. That is rough. How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. Oh, wouldn't it be terrible if he slipped and fell as well? You'd be all on your own, Stella. Oh, no, you'd have Rufus. Any personal questions here? No. Nothing about the necklace. Okay. We know where Sean is, so I'm not going to keep asking about that. Well, we could do one more, I guess. I'm trying to locate Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where he could be? You talking about the one everyone calls the sad saint? The man who takes care of the homeless? The very same, Miss Fishman. I'm sorry. I don't know where his shelter is. But if you ask around, I'm sure you'll get your answer. Okay, then. Well, goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Goodbye, yes. Take care of yourself. I'm inclined to say thanks for nothing, Stella. Not only did you give us no information, you didn't even offer us any food or a cup of tea. Please God damn it. Now, don't worry, we're going away. You're such a, a mood killer. We're going to leave it there. I quite enjoyed this one. Um, we got the Gravedigger side quest done, and we met some interesting characters on the docks. I like Rufus. Uh, despite our first inclination to, to eat him. If you enjoyed this episode of Vampire, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps me out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you. We're going to get into our living room so we don't hear her. If you want to see more, I mean, we can't do the necklace one. I don't know where that could be. We only have to get lucky and find it. So I think we'll head to the East End Docks to try and find Sean. Please go ahead and subscribe. I can bring that to you. Got any questions you want to raise? If you've got any ideas where the necklace could be, please go ahead and let me know. I would appreciate that in the comments below, and I will make sure I will get back to you. Alright? See you!